the sixties, mm. the price of the Elnico material to build magnets went literally through the roof. So uh, all the manufacturers switched from an Elnico magnet to a ceramic magnet, which is nowadays, even after 50 years, the standard of the industry. <laughs> What's the difference in term, from the tonal perspective of the player? A ceramic magnet has less dynamic compression, is tighter, is bolder, stronger, and it's somehow more mid-range focused, less chimey on the top end. Not by chance, all the British speakers uh, match it with, you know, your Marshall, your Vox, your uh, Laney uh, amplifiers became the voice of the hard rock and, and, and the early heavy metal. The ceramic speakers are the blackface speakers. So um, the deluxe reverb, the twin reverb, the super reverb 4x10 all featured um, uh, the newer generation of Jensen loaded with ceramic speakers. <laughs> In terms of the IR capturing, we went through a very extensive, very detailed capturing, almost obsessive, uh, with many different microphones placed in many different positions, uh, using vintage correct, era correct uh, cabinet enclosures, and we wanted to have a, a complete overview of the classic application and forced our way to allow the user to use these vintage-oriented speakers also in more modern context. With the Super Cabinet, you can visually browse each IR library. You can choose the speaker, the cabinet on which you want to install the speaker, the microphone model and its placement. The Super Cabinet will automatically load the corresponding IR in the library. You can combine up to four different IRs. As an example, you can blend two different microphones or even two different speakers, like this. You can constantly monitor the resulting frequency response with the integrated analyzer. Do you like the tight low end of a P12R vintage analytical speaker, but you want the smoother high end of a Tornado speaker? No problem. With the multiband mode, you can load separate IRs on different frequency bands. As an example, you can load a P12R IR on the bass band and a Tornado 100 in a 2x12 cab on the high band to have its smooth response. <laughs> These features open to endless tonal capabilities in a way that has never been possible before. You can export the final IR in a WAV format to use it in your favorite hardware modeler or in other software IR loaders. You can start a trial of each library with a single click within the THU and start enjoying the Jensen speakers into your amp modelers. We know how the speakers are supposed to sound like and we wanted to fine-tune the process in order to be absolutely certain that the final result, the final IR that you will load in your system will give you the most real, natural playing experience as if you were playing an original physical speaker. So this is not just an IR, this is the digital version of a physical speaker.